and welcome back to Behind the Curtain. My name is Emily Garvin and I'm the Executive Director of the Marilyn Robin Performing Arts Center. The Marilyn Robin Performing Arts Center is a nonprofit regional theater located in the heart of Foxborough. On our show today, we'll be discussing a lot of the different things that go into putting on shows at our theater, from volunteers, board members, and everything in between. Hosting with me today, I have our Executive Assistant, Joni Champagne. Hi, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Joni's thrilled to be here with us today. <laughs> um, and so what Joni's job is in the theater is a little bit of everything. Joni handles volunteer coordination. She's going to be taking the reins on our new membership program that we will be launching very soon. And she also does a lot of the fun things. She just recently painted the entire lobby and has gone into the theater. She's completely revamped the structure of how professional that we look and how clean the theater is. And she also does a lot of the decorating, which we'll talk about later. But Jody, I just wanted to ask before we get into the show today, how did you get involved in the theater? Well, I got involved in theater from my children. When they started high school, mm -hmm. they both went into theater. And then when they went off to college, they both went into it. My son went to BC, mm -hmm. and my daughter went to Emerson. And then she's a costume designer in California right now. So they kind of dragged me into it, and, uh, and I've been loving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'll, I started working for Laura Canfield mm -hmm. with all LRC Stage Productions, doing her costumes. And then once I got in that pink building, it was hard getting me back out. It was um, during a, <laughs> one of LRC's summer camps that we met. Yes. And I was like, we need her on our team. <laughs> um, and that's how you ended up in this position. Yes. Um, so it's kind of been like a sucked in for all yeah. around for yes. you. You just keep getting sucked in. You'll never leave. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we love having you too. Thanks, Emily. Joni and I are really excited to introduce to you guys one of the events that we have coming up this month. On December 14th and 15th, Foxborough Ballet Academy will be presenting The Nutcracker, which is something that they have been doing for the last few years at our theater. Up next, we will be bringing in Eve Ketty from the Foxborough Ballet Academy to talk about the events. So Eve, thank you so much for coming in with us My today. Pleasure. How long have you guys been doing the Foxborough Ballet Academy, or how long have you been a part of it? Yeah, I opened the school, um, it's almost eight years now, mm -hmm. and the whole reason I opened it was because we would have had access to the Orpheum Theater at the time. Mm -hmm. So um, now that it's open and it's thriving, that we do the Nutcracker there every year, so we're really thrilled to have it there in town. That's awesome. And you guys are actually bringing another event in March, right? Yeah, we tried to do a spring performance too. Last year we did um, some excerpts from some ballets, including Swan Lake. So that was fun to do. It was something different for the kids to do. So um, it, it was a challenge, but yeah. it was fun. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, how has the theater helped you guys in putting on the Nutcracker each year? Well, it's a great theater. It's a great local theater. I mean, Nutcracker is a huge production, so it's great to have a big giant stage, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, I grew up in Foxborough. I was born in Foxborough. I went to Boston Ballet, you know, my whole life. Went to Foxborough High School. And um, when I opened the school, I wanted to have it at the Orpheum. So it's perfect. It's just a little nice little regional theater, and the kids are all local kids. So it's, it's been great. That's the exact kind of events that we love to have here at our theater. And what is kind of like the reason why you keep coming back and why you were drawn to the theater in the first place and picking the Orpheum as your venue? Well, coming from Foxborough and having the school in Foxborough, I would have considered going nowhere else. Mm -hmm. The first year we did it, we had to do it in a high school in one of the towns nearby, but it just wasn't the same because we just wanted to be at the Orpheum. I mean, it mm -hmm. was no choice for us. Mm -hmm. So. Well, we love having you, yeah, and we'll actually be seeing a lot of Eve in this episode today because she is not just involved with the Foxborough Ballet Academy, but she's involved in many aspects of our theater that we will definitely be talking about soon. So thank you so much for sharing about My the pleasure. Nutcracker. Would you like to uh, share just how to get tickets and how we, people can come see the show? Sure. We just started rehearsing last week, so we're still in the planning stages. Um, we sell tickets at the door, of course, but we also go through brown paper tickets. Uh, tickets probably will go on sale maybe in the middle of November and the performances are Saturday and Sunday two performances on Saturday December 14th and then a matinee on Sunday the 15th 
Um, so, you know, once the tickets go online, you could do that or just go to the theater and buy them at the box office. Awesome. And we will actually link their theater tickets to our website so that you guys can get them on our website as well. And you can see a sneak peek of their Nutcracker show in our holiday extravaganza on November 30th. Can't wait. So, so we're excited to have them there as well. Thanks. Thanks, Eve. Oh, my pleasure. All of our events at the Maryland Robin Performing Arts Center wouldn't be possible without our amazing volunteers. Our next segment of the show is where we would like to highlight some of the key volunteers that help make everything that we do at the Maryland Robin Performing Arts Center possible. Here with us today we have Jamie DeVillis. Hi. So Jamie, what are some ways that you've volunteered at the theater before? Um, so I've helped with concessions mostly, but every once in a while I'll get the text from my dad asking to help clean up the theater after a show or something. Kind of all over the place with it, but... Do you like volunteering? I love it. Um, I'm not really a theater kid, but mm -hmm. this kind of gave me some insight of how everything runs and it made me appreciate theater a lot more in Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that people don't really realize. So it's a cool way because when you volunteer at the theater, even if you're not necessarily an actor or somewhere involved in you know, the process of musical, you can still be involved, which is a, a really cool way to incorporate everybody into the place. Um, and so you're actually very involved right now, um, especially in the making of this show. So what are you doing for this show? Um, so I'm the producer for this show, actually. Um, I just help organize everything with like writing scripts and figure out who's going to be on the show, but it's been a really cool opportunity and I've been very lucky to get this role. Yeah, you've done an awesome job. It's been really smooth. We've had some awesome people on here. So do you have any messages for anybody watching about if they want to somehow get on the show or get involved in the theater, how they should contact you? Um, yeah, so best way is probably by email. Um, that'll probably be available somewhere to find, but I'm pretty easy to contact and like this show is very open to anyone who wants to be a part of it. We're always looking for new people to be involved with the theater and everything. So if you are ever interested, just get a hold of me and I will certainly get back fast. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and for doing all the work on this awesome show. It's been fun. So as many of you know, our theater has many stories and many people that contribute to those stories. We have Joni here today with us, who is not only a staff member now, but Joni goes back way far back as a volunteer of the theater. Joni has been volunteering with the theater long before I came around. Now she's an employee, but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you have been doing for the theater the past few years before you were an employee as a volunteer and what you've done with all the decorating. So many of you guys will walk into the theater, maybe you saw it around Halloween time when you walked in and it was completely decked out and around now where the Christmas season is coming around, you guys will come in and you'll see the theater completely transformed and Joni is behind all of that. So Joni, do you want to just tell us a little bit about kind of where you draw your inspiration from with your decorating? Oh wow, I actually never have a plan. <laughs> I kind of just start and it just happens. Mm -hmm. um, give me a theme and I'll run with it. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we get very excited about the decorating. I'm very excited <laughs> that this Christmas I have somebody who's... <laughs> <laughs> Playing the it's holiday like, songs while right, we decorate the theater. Right. <laughs> um, so with your decorating, where do you get all this stuff? You have so many oh. decorations, it's unreal. I know, it's starting to get out of control. It's, <laughs> It's in my dining room, it's in my garage. <laughs> I have three trailers that um, are full mm -hmm. of costumes and mm -hmm. Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations. So I just go dig them you out. You just got and, it all with you already. <laughs> and it explodes in the theater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I'm so excited about. Um, and so I guess, how long have you been doing the decorating for the theater? How many? Oh, know? about two years. About two years. Um, I kind of go, we were doing a movie, The um, Wizard of Oz, they were mm -hmm. showing that, so I did a balloon arch in green outside mm -hmm. and I made it look like the theater had fallen on the witch, her legs were sticking oh, out. So, so, like I said, give me a theme, I'll just run with it. We, we have many themes <laughs> and, th and stuff like that coming up, so the theater might be a little more decorated than it has been in the past. <laughs> yeah. um, and so, I guess with, with all the transitions going on at the theater, you're now in this new role at the theater and uh, you know so many things are different than they were before what is your favorite part of just being involved being an employee at the theater and there every day on the you know the inside i 
think that what really gets to me is when I'm standing out in the lobby or behind the concession stand mm -hmm. and there's kids in that theater mm -hmm. and they're laughing and singing and just, you know, it just makes you feel really good that mm -hmm. there's a place for them to go and show what they got, you I know? I could it's, not agree more. Yes, it's very exciting. Well, we're going to have it. so many more events for children coming up yes. in the next year, so stay tuned. The next section, we normally go into all the awesome things that we're doing for the community. But today, with the end of the year rolling around and the holiday season, we wanted to take this time to kind of present to you what you can do for us. The theater is a community resource. We are here to offer so many opportunities to everybody in the region, and we can't do that without some help from the community as well. So we have a new sound system, a new lighting system that we are looking to get. We know that the bathrooms need to be updated. We know that the theater is a little bit old and outdated and needs some upgrades. And we want to be able to do those for our patrons and for our performers. We are going to be sending out an end of the year appeal. We don't need any minimum or any maximum. Whatever people can donate is going to make a difference. If it's $20, it's going to contribute to some microphone elements. If it's $500, you're gonna help us paint. If it's anything more, you're gonna help purchase new sound equipment and new bathrooms and completely revamp the theater and make all these upgrades so that we can put on the best quality shows and give everybody the best opportunity around. So there's no pressure to donate, but if you would like to donate, you can visit www.MarilynRodmanPerformingArts.org to find out more information. Every bit counts, and we really appreciate your continued support throughout the years. As always, we will be wrapping up our show with some trivia! There are many events that you guys can win free tickets to if you comment your answers below. Our three trivia questions for today's show are... One, when is the Nutcracker? Two, how long has Eve Caddy been with the Orpheum for? Three, what is one of Eve's responsibilities? Remember to comment your answers on our social media platforms and we will enter you to win two free tickets. The winner will be selected within the next week or so. Thank you so much and thank you again for your continued support and for watching our show Behind the Curtain. Until next time. <laughs>